kind of cool for the rest of the day, only topping out in the upper 60s, and eventually we'll see some rain showers. Wouldn't be a bad idea to bring along an umbrella. You can see the showers are, are mainly limited to southeastern Mass so far. You can see them from Plymouth County all the way back to, uh, it looks like the north end of New Bedford and all the way down into Westport. In fact, zooming in, you can see the showers working down 195, Route 6 out there in southeastern Mass, all the way down into extreme southwest Westport perhaps even a sprinkle there in Little Compton. Uh, New Bedford, we had a little shower come on through. It looks dry at the moment in this view, but we have lots of clouds around taking you from southeastern Mass. Looking at the rest of the area, all of Rhode Island is dry. These showers are going to try and work their way on off to the west. Looking at some new computer model data, it's indicating that we're beginning to see the atmosphere kind of moisten up. We've had a lot of dry air over our heads, and now we're beginning to see that dry air get eaten away by some moisture and yeah, we get a lot of clouds right now in Providence. Temperature 66, wind from the north at 13 miles an hour. So bottom line, the atmosphere is getting primed for maybe a couple of sprinkles and showers as we go through the rest of the day. We're at 66 degrees in Providence, Newport 64, New Bedford it's cool to 67. Our chances of rain today will be highest across eastern Mass. Maybe about 50-60% chance of some more showers in New Bedford. Much greater chance across Cape Cod and the islands. Farther west you go, there'll be some showers and sprinkles, but a much lower chance across Rhode Island. You can see a lot of rain off to our east. Look at that over the Atlantic Ocean. Most of that misses us. We have an area of low pressure that's just hanging out, sitting and spinning off to our south. These storms are notoriously hard to forecast, especially the timing of the rain. And we're going to be seeing some occasional showers and sprinkles today, maybe more of a, a widespread shower activity for tonight and into Friday morning. Now, this computer model and many others are indicating that tomorrow, a good portion of the afternoon will likely end up dry. Maybe a couple more rain showers tomorrow night into very early Saturday morning, and then the rest of the weekend will end up dry. So we're going to watch the uh, placement of that low. It looks like it'll be drifting on off to our south uh, through the uh, upcoming weekend moving away from us today about 70 degrees a light rain shower a sprinkle or two certainly not raining all day obviously out on the beaches we've got a pretty good surf four to eight foot surf expected today that'll create a high rip current risk there'll be a couple of showers there as well from time to time out on the bay uh, visibility reduced in showers and fog winds from the northeast and north 10 to 20 knots gusting to 25 here's that forecast for tonight a couple of showers from time to time overnight lows getting down to about 61 degrees showers for at least the first part of the day tomorrow breezy and cool tomorrow an early shower Saturday then much of the weekend ends up dry with highs in the mid 60s you can find that forecast always with our interactive radar on our pinpoint weather 12 app